First up, this is not the Canva plugin for ChatGPT, which simply searches Canva template. ChatGPT now actually generates Canva designs that can be opened in the Canva editor and completed. This is Canva GPT, Canva's custom GPT in ChatGPT, and this is the first look. Make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video to find out how to access this Canva GPT. Okay, let's get ChatGPT to help us create a Canva invitation. Let's prompt Canva GPT with an invitation. Okay, let's make it Jane's 50th masquerade themed party. The scene is the Sydney Opera House and it's on the 4th April 2024, 7 p.m. Now we will see ChatGPT talk with Canva to request a magic design. It will take a few moments. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so these designs are pretty rudimentary, but we can click to edit in Canva. I'm going to make some little edits until I am pretty happy. But as a little aside, given this is an invitation, I'm going to quickly show you our app in Canva. Create eCards. It's in the share menu. Create eCards helps you turn designs into online e-invites that you can send and collect RSVPs with. Okay, back, back to ChatGPT and provide do some design challenges. Challenge one. Design a vibrant poster announcing a summer beach festival, featuring bold sun-kissed colors and playful fonts. So I really like the one on the left. It's minimal and nice for an event. Challenge two, develop a sleek professional business card for a tech startup, incorporating futuristic elements and a minimalist color scheme. Okay, so these I don't really like, but it is cool anyway. Moving on to challenge three, and the results are interesting. Craft a captivating book cover for a fantasy novel, blending mystical creatures and an enchanted forest backdrop. So at first you think, wow, but if you read the response from Canva, these are templates, not AI generated designs. Now this really highlights the difference in quality between AI magic designs and Canva's existing templates made by humans right now. Templates are by far better, but for how long? The final challenge, create an elegant wedding invitation with a vintage floral theme, blending pastel shades and classic typography. I really the left one, it's minimalist and pretty much usable. So overall, we can see that Canva does generate something pretty basic, but this is all brand new magic tech. So we can expect it is going to get a lot better. So you probably want to know how to get your hands on Canva GPT. Psst. Just Google it. Note, you will need ChatGPT Pro to access Canva GPT if you are curious about sending Canva invites as e-invites. So you can collect RSVPs. Check out this video.